Hey, I'm John Campbell, John, and why don't you come down and see my studio here, my humble little, uh, my humble little home. How does it feel to be hanging around? Nothing to do but hit the bar. So uh, I call this uh, Campbell John Sound, and it's uh, where I uh, keep my guitars and uh, my little... Uh, my home studio. Well, this is where I make my uh, my records and do my songwriting and do my business and talk to my manager and my agent. On a good day, I'll write a half decent song. On a bad day, I'll be have my face buried in my business computer, wishing I didn't have to do that. And uh, that's what I do day in and in day out uh, when I'm not on the road or or doing sessions somewhere else, or rehearsing with a lot of fun. Well, my wife and I met in the late 80s, and actually uh, we met in Fort McMurray, but we were just sort of acquaintances then. Never really knew each other, kind of, sort of passed each other on the on the street, sort of figuratively, and said hello. And she had her friends, and of course I was coming and going on the road. But uh, yeah, she was living in Fort Mac, where I know there's many a Cape Bretoner still still to this day. And not to get off the track, but my heavens, Fort playing a Fort Murray in those days was such a thrill because it was a home away from home, as every Cape Bretoner and Newfoundlander can attest to, you know. And then we got married, and when both of us realized that we had a lot in common because we wanted a family, and we started a family, and uh, that's basically when I started my uh, John Campbell John solo career, and uh, bought a home, and that was uh, 18 years ago, and uh, dare I say, we're still here, and the home will be paid off. Thank you, God, in, in the... Uh, in the a year or so, and my kids are teenagers now, Cassie and Martha, they're both, uh, they're both my Martha, Martha, my 13 year old, is going through a Beatles phase, she just discovered Help, the movie, and now I, she's, she's got all my uh, Beatles CDs on her MP3 player, and she's asked me questions about this song, and that song, can you play this song, can you play that song, and uh, Cassie uh, has been involved in the uh, Choir for a number of years, the uh, uh, Halifax County Girls Choir. So she wants to carve out a bit of a music career for herself, and I'm thinking, oh my heavens! And I just think of all the, all the, you know, the, the pounding of the pavement I've done through the years, and how tough that could be if she chooses that path. But I didn't get the education. Uh, well, that's not true. I did get education opportunities, but I made some bad decisions where I just thought that I was going to be a star next month and went that route without uh, having the, the academic background to, to back me up and to fall back on. And, um, you know, when you're, when you're crazed for music and, and, and uh, you make uh, those kinds of decisions, uh, you realize later in life that uh, you know, a college degree couldn't have come in handy. And, you know, so I. Uh, I'm encouraging my girls to get it. My wife and I are encouraging my girls to get a good education. And so um, hopefully they'll continue to follow that path. And uh, yeah, so here I am in Colby Village, Coal Harbor, down the street from Sydney Crosby. <laughs> from the past. Here's one I've had a... Uh, oh my god. This is a band I had from many years ago. There's Bobby Cameron on the, on the left. Gerard Wilson. Irvin Fraser. Mark Reed. And myself when I had hair. And we had a band called Squeeze Play. And I don't mind telling you we were pretty rough around the edges, but we had a lot of fun. Ah, this is my, uh, this I think is for my first tour of Europe. 
John Campbell John. Yep, I made a lot of friends over in Germany, and uh, uh, since 1999, I have some very close friends. Uh, and this is from my first label, Hermans, of Taxim Hermans. And yeah, I uh, had uh, three or four records on that label. We started 1999, and uh, thanks to uh, Hermans and uh, my, my manager Leonard at the time, uh, I got my foot in the door, and I still tour over there on a regular basis, and it's a wonderful thing. And it's a privilege to be to have the opportunity to go over there and perform for uh, my European fans. It's uh, yeah. It's so you're wondering about this uh, funny-looking guitar here. It's got a few miles on it, but a friend of mine, Jim Lyrisy in St. John, New Brunswick, built this for me. It's a lap steel. Right now, it's only got five strings. Had I known you would would have been asking about it. John Campbell John has a reputation of being an extraordinary guitarist. The Toronto Blues Society in 1998 nominated John for the Guitarist of the Year. John Campbell John captured the Best Canadian Blues Slide Guitarist Award in 1998 given by Real Blues Magazine. When I got when I got my uh, European record deal, that was that was a, quite a thrill. It's a, I remember the day vividly uh, because as a as a young guy, I, I sent out uh, demos and got my form letters from record companies, you know, which always started with "Thank you for your submission." And we really enjoyed your music, and we want to encourage you to keep writing. However, at this time, we're not prepared to sign any new artists because we're full up. But please continue and blah blah blah. We hope to hear from you again. And I've got, I've had I had a drawer full of those letters, and it's it's normal. It's it's part of the business. And then one day I got my first record company email, and I thought, oh, here we go with uh, my first internet record company rejection letter. <laughs> and uh, I had sent uh, actually my hook, slide, and sinker independent CD at the time over to a couple of labels in Europe, and. Uh, and uh, uh, one, actually I received one letter, one re internet rejection letter from one label, and the next one I got was, uh, here we go again, and I opened it up, and it's sure, sure shoot, and they said, thank you very much for your submission, we really enjoyed your music, and I'm going, yeah, here we go once again, and we encourage you to keep writing, and you, you remind of us of one of our artists, and, and, uh, and this, especially the way you did this and the way you do that, and we're prepared to offer you a proposal. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, so I, I took it pretty good. I jumped to my feet and ran into the door and said, Hunt, and my wife was out in the court getting some sun talk, and the neighbor said, Honey, get over here! Quick, look at this! And uh, sure enough, I, I got my first opportunity to... Uh, 